this is the beginners online trading webinar my name is Danny and I will give you the webinar today this is a live webinar but it will be recorded and uploaded to our YouTube to our YouTube channel later on I'm gonna explain a little bit how the webinar is going to happen and then we can hit the road so to begin with we'll have a nice introduction to the company the facility some of the functions in here which I'm gonna show you and on the second part we'll have a bit more practical uh, part we'll learn basic fundamentals some logic behind decisions here buy and sell will understand the meaning of certain things and obviously to give you practical tools to begin with your trading uh, and lastly if we'll have spare time as you guys know the drill perhaps we'll we'll we'll, we'll discuss the analysis just on a nutshell all right and it's important to know that any capital markets and trading information disclosed in this webinar is provided for uh, informative purposes only. It should not be constructed or applied as an investment recommendation or a suggestion. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that the webinar is recorded as I mentioned a minute ago. Then I'll be back and we will begin. So I'll be right back. Thank you very much. All right, so everything seems in place and we can simply begin. And like I said, we're going to begin with a quick introduction to Avatrade. Just gonna get ourselves a nice place to write down the notes. Okay, as many of you know, <clears throat> we exist since 2006. We're a regulated company with nine licenses worldwide. Our customer service is here at the bottom left. Okay, this whole interface is called the web trailer. All right, so it allows me to access the customer service in case I have a question or a query. Of course, if you don't see this interface, you can simply send an email to cs at avatray.com and you can choose which methods to to uh, contact of course and beside a customer service we also can assign a senior account manager this is an individual that can assist you along your journey just a second yeah senior account manager and you can get a senior account manager when your account is funded and uh, active. Okay, now account manager, it can assist you with all kinds of things such as uh, uh, trading queries, calculations, explanation about leverage, margins, some of the numbers that are here, any kind of information and trading uh, queries can be addressed by a senior account manager. Okay, and I'm gonna just carry on explaining about this platform, but before I do so, I would like to mention also the other platforms that we have. Okay, so the web trader also known as Avago. This one is for desktop, this one is for the, uh, for the app. Okay, we have MT4 and MT5. Okay, Ava Social and Ava Options. There's no really need to explain too much about our options as it's a different concept from the two mentions, three mentions above. And uh, I'm just gonna tell you that the app is very unique and I highly recommend you to try it, your trading options or considering trading options. Okay, and regarding our social, that's actually something that I would like to mention for, as this is a dedicated, uh, beginners webinar and I think that this is a huge contribution to your journey if you're still uh, you still don't have a full equipped strategy you're still making adjustments so what uh, Ava Social is offering is to allow you to follow or copy somebody else all right the trader you can pick from lists and see there is someone in particular you like its performance you can follow him and that means that you're gonna get notifications with his trades and it's gonna allow you to either uh, it's up to you to either execute or not. You can also use it just for your sheets to improve, as I said, a strategy or your uh, study. Or you can copy somebody, which means that it, the execution will happen automatically, right? So if I'm following somebody, my account is is going to do what he's doing. And I also have a way in Ava Social to adjust the ratios and proportions between the balances. So if somebody that I'm following has a more considerable uh, balanced than I am so I can do the adjustments. I can also uh, link the link and then change if I want to and keep track as I said for study purposes. Now there are certain um, functions in this facility that unfortunately you can only find in this facility and in other 
uh, go, right? Not MT4 and MT5, such as this lovely tab that we see here. We can see that we have the value, the leverage, the margin impact and spread. We don't fully understand. Uh, but just just so you know that those things are not necessarily presented on MT4 and MT5, and it's extremely helpful. Okay, same apply for for this guy over here. You see, I just changed changed the uh, the tab. And oh, to get this open, also I want to show you that to get this open, I'm, I have to click on sell or buy, right? Sell and buy. They both open this inter this uh, tab. Okay, and I would like to show you a few features that unfortunately will only be here, be, uh, starting with the signal section. Okay, now signals, for those who don't who don't know, are actually instructions. Well, potential guidelines of uh, when to sell, uh, when to sell, and when to buy. That means that. If I'm looking as an example, oh, let me just show you how, how I got here, how I got into here in the first place. So there are two ways to access the signal. One is by clicking from the list. I'm just gonna fold this down, guys, by clicking on the two tiny arrows to the right. Okay, then I can drag it down. Okay, and then I have this light, blue lightning icon, which can lead me to the signal section. I can pick it here from the list. It's a CAD, um, CAD Japanese yen. And it's going to show me here the signals. Now, as I said, the signals here is referring to certain levels on the chart. We define them by support and resistance. Okay, I'll explain further on in a minute. And then what it allows me to do, I have two scenarios. I have buy. It means that my intention is that the value will keep increasing. The difference between the uh, CAT to the Japanese yen. If I'm buying, my intention is that it will go higher. And if I'm selling, my intention is that the value will decrease. So I have two scenarios. And when I get to, if I click here on buy, let's suppose we're going to go with a buy. Okay, aiming the value will increase. And then it's going to show me it's already equipped with take profit and stop loss. Now, what exactly are those things? Now, when I'm buying something, my intention is it will go higher right but i'm not always next to the computer to watch out when it's going to get to the price or necessarily if it gets to the price that i wanted so what can i do i can just play something called take profit okay let's suppose that i can mark it here or here wherever i want you see if i'm going to change the value here it's going to also change the outcome and it will be triggered it can be triggered automatically if it reaches that price right so i don't have to wait till it gets to here and only close it uh, cl uh, close close the position manually i can just place a take profit it's gonna if it gets to here it's gonna close it with a profit same applies a uh, similar concept for the stop loss so again i can just place here a stop loss and if it gets down to that price it's gonna close it with a loss Okay, this could be potentially a level that if it proceeds uh, farther down, I don't want it to carry on. And so I can manage my risk with stop loss, um, telling the platform, okay, if, you, if it gets to this price, I want to close it. And in here, same idea. If I'm changing it, it also changes the outcome. Okay, now this is one way. Okay, so that, that's also in a nutshell, just to understand how the signal is built. And now I'm going to show you perhaps ways to maybe to prepare yourself of how to use this signal and also to determine if you want to carry on with it or not. Uh, but I'm going to do it through the signal section. So we saw how it's how it looked like from the inside, uh, from the outside, from the list here. Now we're going to go to the signal section itself. And we're going to just let's, let's quickly review what's happening here so we'll understand how to to, to pick the signal that we want, right? So those are obviously symbols of currency pair. This one is a commodity. We have the type sell and buy. We understood just a minute ago, we have a buy and a sell scenario for everything. We have the level, the price that it was based upon because every signal has a certain uh, production time, production price. It's based on certain support and resistance. Okay, and there are few cases 
like that as an example that the signal was that that when was the signal produced the levels has already passed so the analysis that was done on it let me show you look what happens if i click on view signal okay it means that the market has already passed it's already reached a key level so it's not viable for me to use it anymore because if i do that I'm not going to enjoy the take profit and stop loss placed automatically with a valid signal. Okay, so let's just take, uh, let's say, crude oil as an example, which we see it's valid. Okay, we have take profit, stop losses here. And then click on view signal. Okay, and then we're going to hit the arrows to expand the chart. Now we're going to have a nice look. Okay, so we have certain levels of uh, resistance. Just on a nutshell, guys, to understand resistance are higher level than the than the price so resistance means before i'm looking at the support and resistance i always check that the validity of the picture here is the same validity as here otherwise let me show you what happens right now we see the upper line is 86.6 but unfortunately we we're not we're not getting there you see it's not enough i have to zoom out so I'm gonna, okay, so this is daily validity. Let's go daily. Just clicking here on the time frame, scrolling down, scrolling down to 1D, then I have it. And then I can find, you see, 86.6. Gonna just a little higher, yeah. And now we have it, okay? So I can confirm and I can understand, okay, so this is the shape of the chart. I have a buy here, I have a sell here. What do I think that will happen next? Let's suppose that we, for some reason, we think prior analysis, we think it, it might go further down and we decide to go with a sell scenario. Just gonna hit here, sell. And it's gonna show me that with a sell scenario, my potential gain is 24 and my potential loss is 116. Now, this might be a case of a ratio that I might not like right and i can also compare you see that the take profit here is 84.2 right that's almost nothing from the entry okay so i can just adjust it as i want let's suppose we're gonna we're gonna take it a little farther down let's say 81 is an example to get a little too far never mind but the point here i'm not telling you if it's good or not but i'm just telling you that you can adjust it in a way that makes sense to you and as an addition, you can also uh, adjust the load size to be compatible with your balance. So you can decide how much margin you're going to use. And if it's 0.1, it's going to be 800. I'm going to explain further on how this whole concept works. But just for the sake of the signal, I want you to know that you can modify that. Uh, let's go 0 0.5. Let's suppose I want to reduce the amount of barrels I'm taking. Let's suppose we're, we're going to go for uh, 50 instead, 0.5 five uh five right and we have 50 and the 800 became 400 right so this way it's 800 this way it's 400 okay and obviously it will have an impact on my potential profit and my potential loss this is by the way another i don't know if to call it a feature actually yeah it's it's a feature so you see that in here before i'm even taking the position i can see how much i can gain yeah, and I can understand if it's worth for me or not. Same apply with a loss. I can design, I can say, okay, okay, maybe I'll explain it later on, but I can adjust, I can adjust the uh, the the numbers in a way that makes sense and to, to modify that to a level that I'm satisfied with. Okay, never mind. Let's carry on with this. We I think it, do we have any questions about the signals, guys? Even though I, I think we pretty much concluded the, let me get out. Okay, so a quick way to go back to the default screen, it doesn't matter where you are in the website, you can just hit the avid trade button and you're back in business. Okay, uh, yeah, let's just carry on with ease. I think this is pretty much concluded everything we, we wanted to um i just want to say that this is part of let me just jot it down for you guys 
There are two kinds of analysis. And fundamental analysis. Okay, that belongs to the technical technical uh, analysis umbrella. Okay, uh, now we're gonna check something that is more fundamental related. We're gonna hit the news button here. Okay, we have a few categories. This, this is actually a, a global one. Then we have specifically Forex, stocks, commodities, and the season cryptos. Uh, the good thing about that feature is that it also hint what can be potentially impacted by that, um, but by the news, right? So if I'm going to click here as an example, it's showing us still currencies. Just a second, I'll pick something. Oh, there we go. You see, oil as an example, pre uh, pre Asian market brief. You can see that. Uh, let me click here. Okay, so that hints that if I'm going to go through the article here, I might be able to enjoy these four assets uh, thanks to the news that we have here. Okay, and I can refresh the page. Both the signals and the news section are provided by the Trading Central, okay, not by either trade. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say that this might be good. And it can be really great to, to recognize some fundamentals. And you can also follow the fundamentals closely from the economic calendar. Okay, but just before I'm showing you that, let's click on market buzz. We're going to see some nice circles in a minute. Let it load. Okay, and then we can simply follow what has more mentions. Okay, that can hint to what can potentially fluctuate um accordingly okay so tesla might be very interesting things to discuss today same apply with apple uh the rest also i can follow if i want all right this also can be filtered and what i wanted to show you what we're going to do is we're going to go to the economic calendar which is related also to fundamental analysis because we saw the news now we're going to review the economic calendar uh, you can filter here as well. So right now I marked on, let me just go back to the default. We have the um, measurement from low, medium, and high. That's how much we think that the market might uh, get impact by the news. So this high value news, medium value news, and low value news. You can see also by the, this is, let me find okay let, let's go with what we have here you can also filter you can also filter by the dates so right now i'm looking at what has uh what events is on uh, just today and yeah i can load more and i can just scroll down and see what else i have or i can click on the calendar here and i can simply let's go one week forward Okay, and then I can scroll down if I'll filter it to something specific, like um, first I have to mark all countries, then let's go with Singapore. Just a second. Okay, we're gonna go with Singapore. Just hold on guys, excuse me. All right, and now we can see that nothing in particular is for Singapore. Let's go this way. And then we can just follow. You see it has one today, and it has one tomorrow and 23rd. Okay, and I can also have, no, I can have the dates <clears throat> and the impact. Let's go with high. Just a second, guys, I'm sorry. Sorry guys, I'm running out of liquids here. Okay, so as I've explained, here we have the dates, here we have the impact. Let's suppose I only wanna go with low as an example. And I can also type. So let's say I'm looking for something in particular. 
and then it's only going to show me the word that I've been looking for. You see? And then if I click on something, it's going to show me the, the description. Oh, we don't have the description on that, on that one. Let's get out something. Okay, well, let's go with the employment rate. Okay, so this is the unemployment rate. You see, in Singapore, the unemployment rate measures the number of people actively looking at. Anyway, you, you understand. When you click it, you have the description here. Uh, we see that this is low impact. And we can also see the previous results. So we have less, what happened last time, what we expect to happen, and what actually took place. Obviously, this part will only present when the uh, uh, after the occurrence, right? Not before, because this is the result. Okay. Uh, what else I want to show you on this? So I think this is also pretty good. Do we have any questions about a calendar? Or frankly, anything else, guys? Either this or the news or the signals. Take advantage of this webinar being live. Any questions so far? Uh, we'll learn analysis. Um, Ginny, thank you for the question. Maybe at the end of the webinar, I, I can't really teach analysis or strategies before we have the foundations. It will be futile just to explain something more advanced. But yeah, I hope we'll get there. We'll see how much time we have left. Uh, all right, so enough with the guide through. I think we were pretty good for the second part. Let's find ourselves an asset to analyze. Just a second. Uh, yeah, I hope. Let's get rid of that. Begin with clean slate. Uh, let's go through the categories here to find something interesting. Fortunately, I can show you stocks as the US market is still closed. Let's go with energies. Oil has been quite interesting when I saw it on the signal. I'm not sure if we had it last week or not. Well, I guess so let's go with oil. Looks very educational. All right, perfect. So we find ourselves an asset. We did do it manually through the lists, but as you know, it's that easy to just go CL and just pick it from the list. We have a question here from Khalil. How you come out with the signals? Purely technical analysis, that is correct. That is correct. That's technical analysis. I'm not exactly sure about the way that the analysis works, but I'm pretty sure it's based on uh, technical analysis. As you can see, that the signals are also defined by those levels of support and resistance, right, uh, Khalil? Let's, this is, yeah. So let, let's go with that as an example. See, if I if I scroll down, it's simplified down here. We have resistance, higher levels, support, low levels, uh, pivot point, last triggered. And as I said, buy and sell, yeah. So this is pretty much technical. Uh, where was I? Crude oil. Okay, so as I said, let's suppose we're here. We're gonna go back. Click on Ava Trade, expand the chart, putting here crude oil, clicking it from the list, and clicking buy to open the sidebar. Now, let's understand quickly, even though I just used it, I want you guys to understand the functions that are here for you to enjoy. This is actually a search bar. So as I showed, I can just type something and click it from the list. I don't have to go through manually. And the here you saw me changing the time frames right from minutes to days and uh, something else in the signal okay i can change to weeks as an example uh in here i can change the sh shape of how the the candles is going to be at the chart is going to be presented okay so that goes that's that's the line here we have bars and typically the the candles now, there is a reason why I'm not getting information similarly to MT4 and MT5. See, I, I don't, when I 
point on the candles. I don't have any data. The reason is I have to click here on the crosshair and change it from no crosshair to crosshair. And then when I'm pointing on the candles, it's showing me the numbers. You see the numbers here at the left upper corner. I can just go and confirm the levels that I want. I can also place, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, okay, let's, I can also split, split the chart. Okay, different layouts, three even, if I want to, one above the other. Okay, which way you like it. And okay, here I can add an indicator, our size and example, I'm gonna click and drag, or I can look for something in particular. Okay, and look how easy that is. I'm just gonna click and drag, then I can modify it. Keep it 70 for now, and then I click save. It launches the, this, the indicator, it places it on the chart. I can get rid of it just as easy. Click on X, click save. And then we have here, if I click on the tiny arrow, we have this lovely inventory that allows us to place levels on the chart, such as that. You can click here, click on price line, uh, place it like so. And yeah, and then I can I can do all kind of things here. I just don't want to delay about it too much. And let's carry on with ease when we are done with the preparation. Just gonna simply put here through the oil. Okay, now the process that I'm showing guys is not mandatory, but it can help you construct positions with much more sense. And therefore, target time movements and units. Okay, the target can be anything I want. Time needs to match my ambitions and help me specify the candles that I'm going to analyze. So if I'm going to go with scalping as, a, as an idea, we have three, three kinds of trading styles. Okay, mainly, there are many, many more, and there are thousands of strategies, but those uh, are three main ones. So we have scalping. We have intraday. I like to include it with weekly, even though some may not uh, agree, but still okay. So we have scalping, which is more small time frame trading. We have intraday weekly, sort of between a couple of days to a week, could be a little maybe more, uh, 10 days, you know, could be even more than that. We have swing, which is basically holding you can hold a position for a month or whatever else whatever time frame you want um and then when i'm when i'm doing it this way the target time movements and units it allows me to specify what kind of candlesticks i'm going to focus on when i know that my trading style is such uh patrick how can i identify liquidity integration on the chart that is a question much more complex to the webinar that we're having, Patrick, unfortunately. But as I said, Ginny, in the beginning, if I'll have extra time, I'll give a nutshell about analysis, but not now, because unfortunately, at this at this level, the, the audience is not, is not uh, uh, <laughs> it might not be effective, okay? Let's get there, slowly but surely. Uh, yeah, so when I'm setting a target here, it actually helps me uh, helps me specify where can be potentially the gold price that I'm planning to close the position and how much money I'm going to make, right? This way I can design the position in a way that makes sense. So let's suppose that my target will be, let's suppose, because I'm with 10,000, let's go humble with 700. Yeah, and when I'm looking at the chart, it seems like it has quite bullish. Uh, there is a question here from Norberto, right? Norberto, you're asking, do we have also, sorry, do we also have signals on MT4? Unfortunately, no, right? Unfortunately, no. Okay, and you might get assistance from the, okay, <laughs> all right. 
Okay, so as I was about to explain, setting a target actually helps me specify just what I want to do with a position and potentially how I can design it with the load size and the length that I'm expecting to achieve, right? Because if I'm just going to give you guys the direction and I'm just going to hint you, it will never happen. But just for the sake of the discussion, let's suppose we're looking at crude oil. We have the second bull, uh, bearish. So we say bearish. Why do we say bearish and bullish? Not many people know. Bullish for bull that left his opponent in the air and bearish like a bear who slammed his opponent to the ground, right? So we have bullish, some of some of uh, uh, four bullish candles and then a couple of bearish candles. And I can buy, let's get to that. I wanna get to that. I don't wanna speak about it now, but just for me not to to, to forget. Just keep it as it is like a reminder. Uh, let's suppose that for some reason here, okay, we think oil potentially can can carry on down. Now, we can't be too sure how far down it will go, right? Okay, we're going to get to that. I'm going to give you guys a wonderful solution how to estimate how far down can crude oil go. Okay, now we have the target, $700. Looking at the chart, potentially it's going down. And let's suppose that I tell you guys that it's going down, but I don't specify till what price, just that it's going down. Let me just show you guys how quickly things can change, right? Just gonna go to one minute. And yeah, when we saw that it's, it's going down, two bearish candles, as we said, this is how many times, look how many times crude oil went from down to up, right? So down, without specifying till what price or during what time frame is pretty futile because the down is temporary, right? Now, how do we summarize? Let's go back to day, oh, sorry, weeks. How do we summarize how far down can crude oil, can crude oil possibly go down? And again, we're looking at weeks. The target that I set, $700. Will I be happy making it in a week? right and a month if it's if it was would been a month would i be happy with 700 a month i'm not sure about that but about a year too long right so also the time has it's not only what candles to analyze it's also to know that it's worth for me the amount same reason i'm not going to go to work if i'm getting paid half a dollar right so i want to design the position in something that i'm satisfied with Let's suppose for the sake of the discussion that 700 a week is not, not that bad. Okay, and now we have to find the movements, as I said. Okay, so this is where I begin. Where do I think that oil can go down? All right, so what I can do is I can take the, uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put it back then for Okay, so I can put this candle here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take its numbers. And I'm gonna play with his numbers and see, just to clarify for the people who don't know, each candle here is a week. That means if I break it down, let's just put it this way, guys, for you to understand. Right? How many candles do we have in between? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? Same apply here. One, two, three, four five six seven this is obviously the weekend this is why it's blunt okay so each candle here now it's daily i'll bring it back to weeks yeah now now what i can do is i can simply take the numbers in here on that candle you see it's presented here on the left upper corner and i can simply put the dates let's put the dates and oh, took us three years backward uh, we're gonna write an open close high and lows even though it's not in the same order as the platform but this way i find it a little more convenient to do this exercise 7.62 and 84.54 right so uh, briefly, open and close is the red area. If it would have been a green candle, so it would be in the colored area. 
Um, and the high and the lows are the pick point of this of this candle, right? So this is the bottom. This is the low that we have. You see, empty uh, 84.54. So well, let me get a line here. Yeah. Oh, we're not going to see that because we have the price on it now. You see, it's the same exact same level that we. It's not exact. It's a few cents away, but never mind. Okay, so. You saw that this is the this is uh, the lowest last week that crude oil has gotten. This is the highest that it gotten. And if I subtract in between the bottom versus the top, okay, sorry. And I subtracted from the the lowest point. We have 3.08. This is how much it moved from bottom to top. And this this is what has been during the uh, th those are just the results, right? Okay, so basically this is uh, this is potentially sorry, this is potentially where it started. It went all the way up. Then all the way down, and it closed in a little, uh, a little uh, higher than it was, a little lower than it was opened. Let me just show you that. See, this is where. Just a second. It doesn't allow us to to see that on days, but oh, it actually it does. It does. You see, it it started, it started, right. And it closed in a lower price. Okay, it closed in a lower price, and this is why it's red. Even though it gotten very high, you saw that it was it reached all the way up, right? But it didn't close all, all the way up. And the reason that I've placed this nice uh, white uh, rectangle in here is to show us that it was rejected twice. It was rejected twice last week and the week before which potentially can confirm to me the reversal. Okay, now the problem with, it's not really a problem, but when I'm taking only one candle, I'm analyzing one candle and I'm supposed to indicate, okay, so how far down will oil get? And I'm looking at the previous candle and I see, okay, overall it's moved $3. But the problem is that, can I rely on this candle? Maybe this week will be different. Maybe next week will be different. So one candle is not enough. I have to grasp several candles. See, this one is much more sizable than that, right? And here it moved much more in here as well. So what I can do is I can add an indicator called average true range. Let me just click here, click on FX indicators. We're gonna write down AV for average. I'm gonna click and drag, click save. Let's Okay, and here I can modify that as well. And I don't intend to, to go uh, 14 weeks backward. The length is determined by the time frame. I don't intend to go 14 weeks because this is uh, too far. What I want to go for is a month and a half. And then I'm going to click Save. And it's showing me that three is actually not far off from the um, from the ATR. Okay, so typically this is uh, this is an average minus maybe around the average, a little lower than the average, but okay, no problem. Uh, and then I can okay, so the average is three seven, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna estimate the three seven mits to my analysis criteria. Let's see where 37 is. Just gonna go 84.56, 84.55 minus 3.7, 80. That's where. Let's take this guy a little lower. That's somewhere here. However, guys, let me ask you a quick question. Let's put this one in green. Okay. Because this is the average, 
Yeah, this is, I, I hope that everybody understood how it works. This is the average based on the past six candles, right? One, two, three, four, five, six weeks analyzed from bottom to top and what's in between. And this is 3.7, okay? This is how much it can potentially move on average. Now, is there any guarantee Khalil, you're asking I trade gold on weekends and Bitcoin on weekends. How accurate are your signal on those two? God knows, Khalil. You'll have to check. I'm not behind the the uh, statistics to tell you how successful they are. Also, it's depending on the adjustments that I've explained, but try, try and see how it goes for you. All right, um, but thank you for the question. So as you can see, the price here, if I'm looking at 3.7, can I, I want to understand here, is that guaranteed it will get to my green line or it might turn around before? What do you think? From here to here, you see, this is the average. Now, from my understanding, it's not guaranteed. Thank you, Mario. Exactly. So we understand that because this is just an average, if I'll aim for here, it might turn around before. Right, look how in here and in here. Yeah, it can turn around before, no guarantees. Also, Alfred, you confirm there's no guarantees. And for that reason, what I'm gonna do is instead of aiming for 3.7, I'm just gonna go for three. Okay, or maybe even two and a half. Let's see what two and a half gets us. Sorry, two and a half. So we go. Uh, it's two and a half. That's 8209. 82. This is where? Okay. Let's modify that quickly. Okay. Now, let's write down also 2.5. Okay. So we saw the ATR. We decided, okay, the ATR maybe is a little too far fast because this is already close to the risk, to the support line. Yeah, and of course there are low levels. One one important thing to understand is resistance and support are not individual on the chart. You can, of course, you can pinpoint a higher, a highest point or a, a, a lowest point, but if you change the time frame, it changes your support and resistance, right? If I'll change to hourly candles, I can also find here support and resistance. Yeah. Uh, you see in here, in here. All right. Okay. Now, when? Okay. So when I, I I want to carry on with my with my formula here. Okay. With my composition, we have seven fifty in a week, two and a half. Now, how many units? This is the lot size. Lot, sorry, ML, not the lot size. And this is quantities. Now, value. How can I identify a value, a valid fair value gap? Okay, can you explain? Perhaps I can. I can explain about that in the end. How can I identify a valid fair value gap? Okay, that's a good question. But before that, let's just wrap this part up. Um, okay, so as I was saying, we have the target week movements and now we're looking for the units. So one of the things that I can do is I can take it down to the bare minimum. I'm also gonna place the take profit as I, uh, as I anticipated. So 82, are we on a sell? No, we have to put it on a sell we are aiming for a lower value right okay we're gonna put here 82.5 right so we said 2.5 oh, sorry i've made a mistake right let's check it 82 sorry 82 yeah now when I'm looking at 82 from 84 and a half, that means two two and a half dollar down. I have to adjust my lot size to get to 750. Okay, 
because with the current lot size that I have, I'm only gonna make $25, $26. So what I can do is I can simply click here on the plus until I get the 750. Okay, you see plus until it increases enough. Or I can simply divide the target by my uh, movements. So target by movements, target divided by movements equals units. Therefore, 750 divided two and a half is how much, guys? Let's do it together. 300. Okay, so we're going to write down here 300. And we're going to simply put down here 300. Okay, now 300 multiplied by two and a half supposed to give us perfect. Good answer. Whoever answered 300. Very good, guys. Now, let's check the value and see if it makes sense. So we have 789 and not 750. And the reason is we're not precise with what's coming after the decimal. But if we're going to go like this, it would make more sense. OK. And then we see. And then we see that this is completely fine. Now, let's. I hope, let's see if something happened with my, my audio. Oh no, it's still fine. All right, so let's write down here, take profit and stop loss, similarly to what we had with a signal, with an example. So we're gonna write to uh, 82.10, which can give us possible profit of 750. And let's use the same length for the stop loss. Therefore, we're gonna go two and a half dollar up. Therefore, we're gonna add it to the value, which is approximately here. Now, maybe a little lower. Okay, I'm gonna modify that. Click on here, 87. Just reminding you guys, take profit, close the position, getting it with the profit or stop loss, club, uh, close the position with a loss. Okay, this is a point that I don't want because we're selling, so my stop loss has to be higher. Okay, is that understood? Sl sell means that my intention is that the value will increase, my stop loss has to be higher. Uh, therefore, my take profit will be lower and buy is vice versa. Okay, now let's review quickly that we can take the position. We have enough to acquire this position. And when I'm making this comparison, I'm gonna look at a couple of things. We have price per unit. We have the units, quantities or lot size, lot amount, sorry, equals value. Therefore, in this particular case, we have 300, oh, sorry, let's begin with the way that it, it was, the way that I uh, wrote it. So we have 8466 times 300, you see why, right, 300, equals uh, 85,000, let me, I, I'm gonna confirm it with you in a second, guys. Don't worry. 4.6, okay, 300, see? I can go more precise with what's after the decimal, but there is really no point. I want to explain here the principle. Uh, we have price per unit, and then we have leverage. Leverage multiplies buying and selling. Yeah, that means that my 10,000 will behave as if I have 100,000 for oil, okay? And because of that, I can simply divide the value but by the leverage, and then what I have here is value divided by leverage equals margin impact, and margin impact is the Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna write it here in brackets. Necessary amount to acquire 
to open the position. Okay, so the margin impact here will be, let's do it together, 25,000 divided by 10. You understand why by 10, right? One by 10. Yeah, so that brings us to 2,540. Okay, it's already written here. This is what I've explained to you in the beginning of the webinar. Look how nice everything is presented. I don't have to remember any of the calculations. Of course, if I do, it helps me understand the meaning of how it was calculated. But if I'm using the web trader, it's already here. Okay, now look how nice everything is, uh, how nicely everything is presented. I have a target, I know how much time it can pass until I'll make it. Again, there is no guarantees, but I know that I did good job with the ATR and I'm aiming for a realistic amount based on the averages so that also I can somehow call it technical analysis that I did. Um, I also concluded a, a formula here to figure how many barrels we have. Again, I can, I can click on the minus and plus to just until I land on the load size that I want and see here the comparison. And I can also click on this minus and plus here, okay, to adjust to perfect the number that I'm looking for. Uh, what else? So, okay, so this is well composed. We have here the take profit and the stop loss. I can go to work. Everything here is set to trigger automatically. And now I want to confirm that it's actually numbers that I like, that I want to end up uh, losing a, a, uh, an amount that is too big or I'm not aiming for a number that is too far-fetched. Now, when I'm comparing 750 to my balance, my $10,000 balance, I understand that it is 7.5%, all right, leaving me with $9,250. Now. Let's suppose that I'm not happy with the 7.5% and I want to make it a little less, okay? How do I adjust 7.5% to, let's say, 5? Okay, just a little bit, not, not too aggressive. So what I can do, and this is a nice thing that you can do, is you can just click here on the minus, Okay, actually, because we're selling again, we to get the stop loss closer, I have to cl uh, click on the plus, sorry. And then as it goes up, oh, sorry, because this is a sell, so it goes higher. That means that my stop loss needs to be closer to the entry. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so I, I click here on the minus. Okay, until it reaches 5%, uh, 500, obviously 5% 5 out of 500 out of 10,000 is 5%, okay. Okay, I'm gonna keep doing that for a little bit. And okay, and now because the movement between my entry to the stop loss is closer, and that means that instead of uh, 87, I took it half a dollar down, half a dollar down okay and then it's only a two dollars okay a little more than that let's modify i can also modify the the load size but i don't want to do it to not to confuse anyone okay but there are two ways to adjust the load size either a closer take a stop loss or uh, load size adjustment. Okay, very, very simple. And look, guys, how many useful tools we just got ourselves through here. Look, we have a composed position. We have the, uh, uh, I'm just going to modify that. Sorry, guys. So somebody else won't be confused. Okay, look how, and I'm also going to write here 500. Perfect. All right, and uh, just a second. Why is it showing us that? Okay, 
market keep on moving. I just don't want anyone to to be confused with the numbers. And uh, obviously, you you know that the numbers are not going to be precise forever because because the market is is moving. So don't get um, you know too excited about the numbers changing. It's something we can get used to. Um, is as you can see, I, I keep adjusting it, but until you you execute the position. And one more thing that I wanted to tell you is you can also adjust your entry. Okay, beside everything we have here, I can buy in a price or sell in a price that is not the price that I'm having now. So let's suppose that I'm waiting for something to happen, right? Let's suppose that I think it can go uh, a little higher and only then turn around and I want to sell it here and not here. I can simply click here on execute when price hits, go 87.5. Yeah, and then it's going to launch, launch me a sell when it's here. Yeah, very, very useful. One of the pending orders that we have. The reason that I didn't show it in the beginning is because, as you can see, the numbers completely change when you do that. And you have to to do all of that from the the uh, new entry, okay? As we understood that the length between the entry to the gold price uh, is what has determined the profit and the loss. Yeah, so farther away, bigger loss or be, uh, or bigger profit, closer to the entry, smaller profit or smaller uh, loss. Okay. All right, guys. Unfortunately, our time for today is up. We didn't have time for analysis, but that's fine because we have plenty of practical tools here, which is the true purpose of this webinar for beginners. I hope you all enjoyed. You are more than welcome to join us tomorrow with a live Q&A. And that's it. The rest of you, I wish you a fruitful week and have a good day.